here with an art journal page to share today. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that. I love working in handmade journals and usually I make them myself, but this one was actually made by my friend Kaylee. Um, she runs the Get Messy Art Journal community and she um, is a very, very dear friend. And yeah, so she made this one and I just thought it would be appropriate for the season of starting for me because um, Get Messy works in seasons and they're themed and I haven't been doing much art journaling so I thought starting would be a good one to get myself started again and I thought the easiest way to do that would be in a journal that's already made so I wanted as few kind of impediments to getting going as possible and this was a way around that so um, it's a beautiful journal and I'm delighted to be working in it I feel really special to be working in something that Kaylee made like it just makes it extra lovely so yeah, hooray. So you can see that I have some modeling paste here and I've also got some gold acrylic paint. So I'm adding some color to this modeling paste. Um, and I wasn't sure how a um, metallic paint would mix in with it. So this is just a bit of experimentation. So I'm just mixing it in there and it has created a sort of pearly look, which um, when the camera focuses, you'll be able to see, which I actually really like. Um, it's not as rich, obviously, because the color has been diluted by the modeling paste, but that pearly finish is actually really lovely. So I'm into it. So I have got a, um, a stencil here, which I'm going to use to um, to put some of this modeling paste onto my page. And I'm going to use this star um, section of it. This one's got a bunch of different shapes on it, but the stars are what I'm after. Um, they're one of my favorite motifs because my name means star and I, I like sort of celestial imagery. It's pleasing. Um, so yeah, you can see that I put a um, a piece of just a scrap card in behind it so that the bits that went over the edges wouldn't actually get on the other pages in my in my journal. And I'm just going to put some in the bottom left and the top right corner, just sort of frame the page a little bit. And I'm using what I've got. I'm getting better at not um, getting too much modeling paste out of the tub. I usually get way more than I need. And then obviously once you've mixed the color in, you can't put it back and end up throwing a lot away. But this time I managed to be, well, comparatively restrained. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, pulling that away. It's not the neatest job, but that's okay. It's an art journal. It's not meant to be neat and it's not meant to be perfect. Um, yeah. So I've let that dry and the color has actually intensified now that it's dried, which is interesting to note. Um, and I've got some paper here that I'm tearing. You can see some um, watercolor play that I've been doing there around the edges. That's just me killing time while things dried. I usually have one or two things on the go um, at once. And that's just sort of what I was working on while I was waiting for this um, modeling paste to dry. I will say that about modeling paste, it does take ages. Like usually you're best off leaving it overnight really. Um, like do what you want to do to set the page up and then leave it and work on something else for a while um, before you before you come back to it because it, it really does need that time. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding some layers because collaging really is my thing. It's what I like to do in art journals and I am embracing it because it's what I like to do. So I'm adding layers of paper. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to the way that this page looked in terms of layers. So I'm adding a little bit of gesso to sort of... Um, I guess add another visual layer if not a, a, a physical layer <laughs> to this page and it sort of um, mutes some of the beautiful text that's on that page without actually um, concealing it in any way because it's gorgeous handwritten um, uh, note taking it's in I believe it's in German or something it's certainly not in English um, so I wanted it on there but having a bit of having it overlapped with a bit of um, gesso just kind of uh, mutes it down a little bit which I think is nice. I love to add um, sewn and textured details to my art journal pages so I'm sticking these two pieces together and then I'm going to get my piercing tool and I'm going to just um, make some holes in here that I can stitch through and I'm just going to add just a row of um, of just back stitch using this yellow um, embroidery floss. I'm using all six strands and I'm actually coming through from the front so that the little tail is there. Normally I would go from the back and then stick the tail down to anchor it but I actually want it loose because um, I like the way that it looks just sticking out. Again just that little bit more texture I think is quite nice so I'm going to leave that there uh, but I am going to tuck the back in so I'm just tucking it. I'm not even using tape to stick it down because 
I'll be using adhesive to stick this piece into the book and that will be enough to stick it. So I'm just sort of tucking it in using uh, my needle um, to sew it into the stitching on the back. So yeah, I just really like that little extra detail there and the vertical line rather than horizontal. I think that's kind of cool too. Um, sort of I'm um, emphasizing that on this page, the vertical and the horizontal um, as sort of points of difference. So this washi tape, which is really, really beautiful. I bought it in Japan. It is just an MT one, so I don't think you can, I mean, you can get it other places as well, but um, I bought it while we were traveling and it's got lots of embroidered details on it that are really lovely, but the plain background of it, like the neutral colored background is actually kind of a lace look. So I've just selected this section of it without the colored embroidery to add a little bit of extra um, um, sort of subtle detail to this little cluster of, um, of layers. And I'm gonna stick that in there with double-sided tape. And so you've got sort of three, three textured elements there. And I love, I love the way that they look. So now I'm going to add this little photo of myself, which is, I've just printed it out on my HP sprocket. And so it's a sticker. And I'm going to add a staple there for a bit more texture again and that adds a horizontal element so you can see as this builds up there's going to be um, a bunch of different horizontal and vertical elements that kind of interact so now I have a bit of scrap um, paper this is from a bag that um, I bought some books and this was the bag that they came in and I liked the um, the craft kind of colored paper so I'm adding a quote which is kind of going to be the title of this page and it's the quote says um, it's not the waking it's the rising which is a line from a song by Hosea which I really love because it's about the idea of um, of being woke <laughs> like it's not enough to be aware of the um, the issues in the world it's not enough to to care you actually have to do something um, and I think that that's the difference between people who um, who want to make a difference and people who actually do make a difference and that's something that's sort of on my mind a lot at the moment um so yeah it, it, they're words that mean a lot to me and i think that they go quite well with this concept of of starting of 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 taking action and making making a start of doing things of being um proactive so yeah that's kind of the quote that's been sort of pootling around in my head a little bit at the moment and so, yeah, I just typed that out onto this sort of craft coloured paper on my old typewriter. And I've decided to add that in vertically um, amongst these other vertical lines here. And I'm just going to stick it in with some really skinny um, double-sided tape. Um, glue would have been fine as well, but I had that tape sitting there, so I used that. And I'm just going to stick it there. And I just want to add another little um, element to echo that on the left-hand side of the page. And so I think I've because I typed the quote out a couple of times because I wasn't sure how I wanted to include it on the page. Um, so I've just taken one of the words from one of the test typings and I've put it there on the left. I think it's rising. Yeah. And that's literally it. That's the page. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're so inclined. There'll be more art journaling things as well as memory keeping and things like that. And yeah, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.